Which country border is longer? Okay, we have two different countries, Bhutan and Andorra. And I simply have to choose out of these two countries which has got the longest total land border. Neither of these countries are particularly big, but I do think Bhutan is a little bit larger, so I'm going to go with Bhutan. There we go, 1,000 kilometers compared to a measly 120 kilometers. So we're not necessarily always going to be picking the larger country, because certain countries like India that have lots of really specific, very windy borders like this, if you were to measure all of that because of all the meandering, you're going to end up with a border that is longer than the United States of America. So it's definitely not as easy as we think, but on this one, Sudan is massive, so it's definitely going to be Sudan. There we go, 6,700 kilometers. You can see that I did a little practice. I have a high score of 15, so hopefully I can beat that, and we should be fine to click Sudan again. There you go. Okay, Suriname and Djibouti. Now, that's very tricky. See, in my head, they're both a pretty similar size, but you know what? Suriname is, like, right on the equator, isn't it? And stuff looks smaller on the equator with Mikata projection, so I'm gonna go Suriname. <gasps> yes, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, that's a high score of four. We're doing well so far. Guinea and Suriname. Uh, Guinea. <laughs> I don't know why I said Guinea like that. I got a bit ahead of myself. Guinea's not that big, is it? <sighs> I don't know. These are probably quite similar. I'll go Guinea. <gasps> Guinea, quite a bit bigger. 3,000 kilometers worth of land border. Algeria, though, that's got some long borders. Very straight, but still long. So it's got to be Algeria. Yes, yeah, 6,000 kilometers there. Do you know what? In all fairness, Algeria's borders are a bit more windy than they were in my head. I think I was picturing Libya. Ooh, Western Sahara. So I wasn't looking. I didn't just cheat. I think Algeria's borders are much longer. Ooh, yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. I started to panic a little bit. Western Sahara and Italy. Ooh, I don't know. So I don't know if this is exactly how it works, but this game's about land borders, whereas most of Italy borders the ocean, so I guess that doesn't get counted, but maybe it does. I'm going to assume it doesn't, and therefore I'm going to stick with Western Sahara. <gasps> Yes, but it was very close. Score of eight. Let's get to double figures. Bulgaria and Italy. I think I'm going to have to go Bulgaria. I think it's just got longer borders. Because once again, I think percentage-wise, Italy borders more ocean. But I could be wrong. I was. It was really close, though. Oh, now there's a patronizing gif in the background. I wasn't ready for that. Right, we're playing again. We're playing again. Mozambique and Armenia. Mozambique. I'm going to try and speedrun this. Whoa, Mozambique got some real long borders. I'm going to have to look at that on a map. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, it windy, windy. Look at that. It goes all the way around Malawi and then back up again. That is going to add kilometers on kilometers. And then, oh, look when we zoom in. Look how windy it all is. That's a windy fella. He's a long fella and he's a windy fella. Oh, look at it following the river. Oh my god. So yeah, all of these little turns, they're all going to be like added up. I don't know who went around with the ruler, but I don't envy them. Hungary and Mozambique. Mozambique's going to take some beating, surely. But now Mozambique slides off and we've got Indonesia. Indonesia is massive, but a lot of it does border the ocean, but it's definitely still going to be in Indonesia. <gasps> see that? See that? So that was really close between Hungary and Indonesia. But if we go on true size, look at how much smaller Hungary is in comparison to Indonesia. Indonesia, but it must be because Indonesia doesn't have that many land borders. You can see there's this one that connects Malaysia, and then there's also this one for that connects Papua New Guinea, but almost all the rest of the country are just islands, so they're not going to be added on to the total. So dinky little Hungary has all these wiggly lines, and it goes all the way around, so they end up adding up to a similar amount, which is really interesting. Gambia, uh, Gambia's small, I think, so I've got to go Indonesia. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Come on, need to beat that high score of 15. Yemen, Yemen borders Saudi Arabia and Oman, and maybe also United Arab Emirates. Saudi Arabia is pretty big, so based on that, I'm gonna go with Yemen. Yeah, there we go. Not by too much, but it did beat it. We've got a score of five. Let's stick with Yemen again. Oh, we're good, we're good. I panicked. I thought that was a nine, not a zero. Afghanistan. It's quite a bit bigger. It's gonna have really, really complicated windy borders, knowing Afghanistan, so I'm gonna click that with confidence. Yeah, look at that. 5,500. So it must just be all this windiness adding up. Brunei and Afghanistan. Afghanistan, safely Afghanistan there. Yeah, 300 kilometer land border. We've got a score of eight. Cameroon, that's fine. What's the next one? Give me another easy one. We've got a score of nine. Bolivia. <sighs> Bolivia is quite large and it's landlocked, I'm pretty sure. So it's all going to be adding up. Cameroon, on the other hand, I don't think it is landlocked. I think about half of it connects to the ocean, but that might be wrong. I'm going to go Bolivia. <sighs> yes, look at that. So in my head, it was half of the country borders the ocean, but you can see it's just this bit here. So all these other windy bits are all added up, which is uh, pretty long. Anyway, South Sudan and Bolivia. Uh, South Sudan isn't actually that big, I don't think. I think it's Sudan that's the big fella, so I reckon 
reckon Bolivia is definitely going to win that one. Whoa, South Sudan's still pretty massive to have a land border that long. North Korea borders Russia and South Korea. It's going to be lower, isn't it? We'll stick with South Sudan. 1,600. Okay. Argentina. So Argentina, definitely about half of the country is bordering the Atlantic Ocean. But the other half borders quite a few South American countries, so it's definitely going to win that one. 9,600. That could be the longest we've had it so far. Argentina again. That's an easy one then. We're about to beat our high score. Uh, Saudi Arabia's big. A lot of it borders the ocean though, but I think we'll still safe clicking it. Yeah, 4,400. We've matched our previous high score. Kazakhstan. Uh, Kazakhstan looks massive on the maps, but that's maybe Makata messing with it. It is totally landlocked though, so I'm going to be clicking it. Yeah, 12,000 kilometers. Right, I need to remember that. That's going to be hard to beat. Paraguay, Kazakhstan. Easy. There you go. That's a score of 17. Can we get to 20? Let's find out. Bangladesh, not that big, but um, quite a lot of countries are border it. 3,000. I don't know. I reckon Bangladesh's borders are probably more windy, so I'm going to click that one. Yes, look at that. We're away. We have a score of 18. By the way, this game will be in the description if you want to check it out. I appreciate the creator, Gareth, dropping us an email asking me to play it. Mongolia is massive, and I think it's basically landlocked. So let's click it. 8,000. Nowhere near as many as Kazakhstan. Yeah, Mongolia is totally landlocked, but we can see next to it, Kazakhstan, quite a lot bigger and very, very windy. Okay, Mongolia and Kuwait, that's an Easy one. Okay, we're going to get to 20. Look at that. Very nice. Don't mind if I do. Lithuania and Kuwait. Mm, Kuwait's small. Yeah, it's got to be Lithuania, hasn't it? Thank you. 21. Can we get to 30? Can it be done? Here, see, uh, more of an island country. I think it does border, is it? Cuba or Jamaica? It's one of them. I can't quite remember. This is a bit of a gamble, but I'm going to say Lithuania. Yes, we're fine. We're fine. Let's work out why that is. Let's have a little look. Yeah, look at that. This is the only bit of land border. What's the size difference? Ah, to be fair to Lithuania, it is quite a bit bigger. Not massively bigger, but yeah, it's just because there's lots more land borders and this is a land border based game. I actually don't know this one, but because Haiti's a solo at 300, I'm going to say Honduras. Yeah, we're fine. Thank God for that. Oh, Ireland. That's going to be low because it's kind of an island with just a bit of Northern Ireland at the top. So I am definitely sticking with Honduras. Oh, start to panic, start to panic, but we're okay. Belgium? Ah, oh, see, Ireland's is really low there. Belgium borders quite a few countries. Yeah, let's go with Belgium. Look at that, 25! <laughs> Senegal. Africa generally is just bigger than you expect, so I'm gonna click Africa. Yep. Oh, I'm getting nervous now that we're so high up. Georgia. I don't know. Don't think of Georgia as being very big, but it is landlocked, I think. This is a risk. This could go either way, but I'm gonna say Senegal. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Next door, next door. Moldova. Moldova's not that big. Its borders look pretty straight from a distance. I don't know how complicated they are the closer you get. That's quite low though, 1,000. I'm gonna go with Georgia. Oh, very, very close. There was like 70 kilometers in it. Burundi. I don't know. Burundi's deep in the middle of Africa, isn't it? I think of it as quite small, but it's probably bigger than I expect. Moldova's land border's not crazy. I'm going to go Burundi. Ah, oh, I've screwed up. It's gone. It's gone. A score of 28, and now there's Will Ferrell doing a sarcastic dance in the background. Oh, you're better than everyone. You're in the top 1%. Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Right, we play one last round. If I get above 15, you have to subscribe. Nepal, Lebanon. Neither of those countries particularly large. They're both like right in the thick of it. I'm going to say Nepal. <gasps> Go on. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. And the next one after that is Brazil. Confidently can click Brazil. 14,000. I think that's maybe the highest we've had. Estonia. It's obviously going to be Brazil. Netherlands to Estonia. That's tricky. Netherlands is quite a complicated shape, but I think all those complicated bits are like islands that aren't going to be counted in the land border part. Whereas Estonia has more of its country surrounding other countries. But maybe that's not even true, to be fair. I'm going to say Estonia because it was higher than I expected. And I've screwed up. So you, uh, you you don't have to subscribe. Well, that's that's embarrassing. Please subscribe anyway, even though you are no longer obligated to do so. And yes, thank you for watching. I will leave a link to the game in the description. What's Drake doing this for? I'm in the top 1%, mate. Sure. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. <laughs>